welcome Mr. Barry Peatling to the Barry Peatling Sports Show. And welcome to you, Colin Sutcliffe, and all my viewers around the world and interstate. It's a very nice day in Chelsea. About 18 degrees. It's going to be a bit cold tonight, but the weather's not too bad. Wind chill factor is up. 10 degrees tonight. Yeah. So before we talk about the interleague game, yeah. we're going to talk about something from yesteryear. Yeah. And it's not troubles with tyres. In the early 60s, no, no troubles there. It's Peatling Morgan star in Rup win. And we're talking Rup, we mean Rapunya. Rapunya, yeah. And they, they beat Dim Dambula. Yeah, that was the last um, game away game of the season. 69 points. Here's a photo of you. Apparently you got you did pretty well that day. Well, apparently I did, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kicked the, the, the rumour was. <laughs> <laughs> They so kicked the lazy seven, and Ian Morgan kicked the lazy six. So you got seven, seven goals. And that was that was me and the goal kicking over. Three there. votes. We finished first and second in the goal kick at the end of the year. Leading goal kicker, number well number three. Only by you're fifty six. Yeah, we we went past Trevor Gilmore. He's on top there at the moment, but we went past him in the last game. Oh Gilmore. Yeah. Uh, he was sixty, fifty seven, sixty. Yeah. So you both went past him. Yeah, we went past him. Flew okay. past him like he was standing still. And we beat them in the second semi final. I wasn't very happy about it either. But that was the clean sweep. We won the grand final that year by nine goals. Oh, that was an easy and one. The record crowd is still a record for the last 50 years 13,000 people. Tom. And you can check that footage. 61 grand final. Of, uh, it's in colour too. Yeah, and, and go down the index of all those videos of mine the last couple of years. You'll see that. And actually, the, uh, the Channel 31, they've taken my video. They've shown on, on the. On the computer? No. So they got it, yeah. No. How can they do that? I don't know. Without your written consent. That's why I, asked you, I think I asked you a couple Without of your written consent. Yeah. I mean, I just happened to see them there on the Facebook. So, oh, yeah, we're on, we're on Channel 31. Well, there you go. Can I sue them or what? Sue the pants off them. No, how can... How, how, really I don't good. know. How, you, 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 you're all about advertising, so... Um, no, but how, how come they can... Is that easy to do? Probably. They can just, oh, you? Oh, anyone can suck your videos off and... Can they? Yep. Well, it doesn't worry me because it's, it, it, well, I've got there's 320 watch my on my pitch on my that video. Yeah. 320. What's that? It goes for about half an hour. But yes, yeah, full colour and it's been narrated by yours truly. Yeah, well, it was it was silent, but we, we you and I and your w wisdom yeah. we converted it, and I, I was doing a commentary of the game. And yep. It's got full commentary. It's quite good too. Yeah. So it's there forever. Yeah. And um, it's um on there live. So. Let's talk a little bit about the interleague game. Well, there might be too much to talk about. But I'll MP, MP and Mornington Peninsula. Yeah. That's a northern league, but I thought they might have put some coverage in the sun, but they give the score. So they give the Hampton League interleague, the Golden Valley League, they didn't give any coverage of the MPL and northern league. Yep. How many Chelsea players played in that? None, I don't think. Zero. Zero. Well, I suppose Charlie Gardner would be yelling, but he hasn't been going as brilliant as he was last year. Hmm. But, uh, this is and this is the combined side of the whole peninsula, isn't it? That's right. It's yeah. a, uh, so you got Hastings and Hastings Crip, and uh, Crip Point and all that sort. Crib Point and uh, Rye, um, Rosebud. Yeah, all those sort of places. So it's so a big. It's, a, it's the whole peninsula, so it's a big deal. There's Alan Edwards from uh, the Pines that was in it. Alan Edwards, a full forward. Uh, only about three or four from the Morning Peninsula. Oh, and I think there's a few from Frankston YCW. Was it? Yeah. No, none for Chelsea anyway. Yeah, a few from Frankston. So let's get to the game. What were the scores, Barry? Scores were the MPL 18 14 mm -hmm. to Northern League 14. That was a reasonably, reasonably close game. Yeah, by four goals or something? Yeah, reasonably close. But I didn't think they'd. Uh, well, I don't know much about the Northern League, but we only had some. The superstars were only at Edwards and. Uh, what would the Northern League I don't be? Think, I don't think McDonald's playing either. What would be, who would be in the Northern League, Wangaratta, those sort of places, Albury, Wodonga? Yeah, up that way, yeah. yeah. But they've never been that, that flash the last 10 years, but anyway, they've got the money. And I think they've got, it's like they're going to be a knockout next year, I think it's going to be, uh, oh, two yeah. Wimber League games, and yeah. whoever wins that, that would happen when I was up in the Wimber League. That we, okay, we get to see who the best interleague in the country, yeah. in the country is. Because we, uh, we won that in the early 60s, that we beat Hamden League to be the, the number one. Mm. Team in the country. And this is about the same thing as this is. Yeah, it must be difficult. All those different players getting together to play one game. Like you don't get the same yeah, vibe. You no, got. Oh no! Then what's going on? Who? What they're doing? And what sort of 
because they want to pass the ball, can go and kick the ball, whatever. But uh, no, it, uh, there was not one scary, just a score, Scott. Oh. I mean, years ago. I tried looking it up on the interweb. So did I. If you couldn't find it, I couldn't oh, find it. No, I got too, it's just too confusing. Now, people, I'm a bit of a computer person. You know now, what whoever's operating the MPNLL, whatever it is. MPL. MPL, MPN Football League. Can you make it a bit easier for the general punters? Well spoken, yeah. So, so that's what we're not I thought it could be naturally because there are four, well, other, four other country teams' uh, competitions covered. Yep. Best players and none of And could you also fix the team app? When you go to the website, you you punch in seniors, and then it wants you to select a year, and you select a year, and then the the seniors option or reserves option disappears, and you have to go back to it. Fix it, please. Well, that's right. Well, I don't watch that too much, but I did watch one of a, I checked it out one night. Was it last week? And they only give the seconds, the seconds, the seconds, eighteen results. What's going on? Wake up. Who is who is being who be in charge just of the fix it. Get someone in there and just fix it. press the button and yeah. fix it. And the, I mean that's the rocket science you've got to get the scores, <coughs> the best players or whatever in the ladder. So that's the that's the scores. Yeah, um, that's it, yeah, that's it. Now yeah. uh you wanted to talk a little bit about Richmond. Yes, Richmond uh, I watched them Friday night and mm -hmm. uh, this this is really about the same time they started last year, the the big run of ten in a row. Nearly yeah. about the same time. You reckon they're going for a 10 this time? I don't know, but they're going all right. And I, but I was telling you before, I actually backed Richmond to win by 39 and a half. And with, within, with two minutes to go, yeah. they were 42 points in front. And they, one fellow's kicked the ball off the ground, kicked it off, and I've done me money. They had six to one. Ah, 38 points. So who they got this week? They've got, uh, I hope you're all right in there. They have got, uh, not, uh, so Essendon. They've got some low sides. No, nah, not really. Essendon, Essendon, they'll beat Essendon, but then they they play North Melbourne. Well, they, they beat, when they got on the run last year, they were beating everybody. Yeah. But I do think they got, a couple of other games after North Melbourne was pretty easy, aren't they? Um, it, uh, Brisbane, I think it's Brisbane. They've got North Melbourne, and then they have... Yeah, Gold Coast. Gold Coast, you'll lose about 20 goals. And then they come up against the mighty Bye. Bye. I think they'll beat the Bye. We have a Bye this year. Yeah, having the Bye around 13. What's going on there? They have everyone has a Bye. They have three weeks where there's a Bye. Going and on. Then you, and you play the Lions after that. That's a winnable game. Yeah, so I'll tell you the one tough game. But the way well, we go, we, we get on a roll call. Like and you got Port week. Adelaide? Well, that's, that's at least four we're going to win. And then you play uh, Bulldogs. Close. Yeah. And um, a pretty good run. And then you've got Essendon again. That comes up where again. Two, two twice in six weeks. Yep. That's all right. A good percentage break. I know we'll... Well, I'm not getting too far ahead of myself, but I do think it'll. Uh, when they get it, the last two Premier years, ship. they get in, get on a roll, and uh, as long as they can they get there, the ship can win a final. Okay, so that's it for the AFL. Um, look forward to that. You want to talk about Anthony Lewis? Yeah, Anthony Lewis. He, well, I seen him in Facebook uh, last week. He was representing the uh, Eastern District League, and uh, this fellow's a superstar. He got best on the ground. Uh, I mean, he was. My number one player, I sent him a thing on the Facebook, yeah. how good he was, and uh, he's got to be 36, I reckon. Mm. And he's got best on the, he's picked in the, in the league side for start, and he's got best on the ground. Unbelievable. Mm. I reckon he, how long has he been gone from Chelsea? How long have oh, he been on this YouTube? Three, three years he's been gone, I'd say. Because he was playing when I was doing the YouTube, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah, he'd been doing YouTube for a long time. Four years ago? Maybe six. Six years. Yeah, I'd say so. Well, anyway, he's. Uh, I give. I, I sent him a message on the Facebook and said, "I oh, listen to a super, super, superstar." Super duper it? star. Yeah. No, then he. Uh, he does look. He does look at, at age. He, he never, never age. Is he about thirty-five? Well, I reckon he's got to be at least thirty-five. Mm. And he's been killing. Oh, you'll start feeling it. Turn. No, he's because he's when you when you're fast, you never get slow down. Mm. Especially if you're. Uh, a bit like Harvey. Friend yeah. Harvey. I reckon he's uh he's played about a hundred games for this month. Mm. And I said in my Facebook that he is the best player I've seen playing for Chelsea since I've been following competition.
Very good, so that's a big wrap for so Anthony. Well done, Louis. If you're watching this, I don't know whether I sent you a message to check out the YouTube, but uh, I had a photo of all the team mm -hmm. on, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. There's some colours. And it, it just it looks at me and oh, Well done again, Louis. All right, next week for Chelsea Barry. Next week we're playing Karingal down Chelsea football ground, which, oh, uh, which should be a winnable game. I mean, if we don't beat them, there's something wrong with us. But, uh, and I think we've got another easy game to the following week too, but uh, we'll wait for this week to come up and uh, get rid of Karingal and uh, get on a bit of a winning streak again with a bit yeah. of luck. Hopefully and uh, we can make the five. Should be good. So, um, that's next week. So what Cheerios do you have for this week? Yeah, I've got some Cheerios. Uh, I've got some new new Cheerio ladies from uh, Ukraine. Tatiana and her daughter, Regina. Mm. They'll be watching the video tonight. Mm -hmm. Talking them on the, on the uh, where they thought, the, uh, the Facebook thing. So I hope you enjoy the video, Tatiana, because she doesn't speak much very good English, but, uh, but she'll you'll understand this, you'll probably understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Of course, PH, he rang up last week. Yeah. He always, he got all these tubes, had all these tubes got removed. All tubes removed. It's amazing, I've got to say, it's amazing he's still with us, because he reckons that, uh, if you would have said to me, if you would have seen me Baz last week, two weeks ago, you would have said, right, get ready for the, you know, for the, 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 grave digger. the, the epitaph and all that stuff, but he's, yeah. uh, he's coming good and uh, he's got the all clear from his doctor. Mm-hmm. But now his mate, Jerry. Jerry, the pacemaker. Jerry and the pacemakers. Yeah. Well, you'll never walk alone. Yeah. He's got a bit of a problem with his uh, bleeding from his his old fella. Right. And I don't know what. Uh, Is that, does he want that public? Does he want that public? Well, of course he does because it's uh, it would be very painful. He wants people to know. And uh, I'm just. I said to PH. I said that, that would be. Uh, could that be an infection in your bladder? That would cause that. Do you know anything about that? No, sort I'm not of stuff? No, doctor. Well, I don't give it medical advice no. on YouTube as well. Well, you give most advice and everything, but I just think that it's pain, very painful for start, wasn't yep. it? Very painful. So I hope that he was going to get checked up. He probably had been checked up by now, Jerry. need to get Jerry. hooked into. Well, whatever. But I uh, hope everything works out for you, Jerry, because he, he looked after Phil at PH when he used to send me all my emails to tell me how to yeah, right, okay. Oh, okay. You remember Jerry, yeah? Yeah. He's a temp little fellow and... Uh, Hope everything works out for you, Jerry, and uh, hope you'll sit watching this video, and I'll, I'll keep up to date with PA next week and see if you can uh, let me know how you're getting on or what's, what's the results of the doctor in there. Look after yourself. All, all the best, Jerry. Mm. Now, uh, of course, we've got Annie and Carla. She yep. actually spoke, sent me a message a couple right, of there you go. So there back. you go. Because her daughter's grown a little darling. She's gorgeous. Eight year old. And yeah. she'll be a model for sure. Of course, Maria, Joy, Anna, and Ursel. Yep. They're all going all right. So, is that all I've got there? That's all I've got to say about my little, my viewers. But it, Anthony Lewis, you're a star, mate. I can't believe it. You're. Uh, He's back. He is. You, 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 you actually seen him play. I've seen him play. It, he, I don't even know if he's back. He hasn't gone away. No, he's gone. Away. But he, he's never. I was talking to one of the fellows a couple of weeks. He hasn't lost a yard. He's. See, some fellas lose a yard when they get a bit older. He, 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 he's gained a yard. Oh. That's why he's picked in the room. In the league. In the league, in the league. And got best on the ground. Wow. Well done, Louis. So that's all we've got for this week. So that's goodbye from me. See you all next week. Bye bye.